What's going on guys, Cam on here. So today I'm gonna to show you guys one of my personal favorite decks. I've taken this to locals. I've gotten top three with this every time. I think the deck is so sick and it's so good. Uh, Phantom Knights, if you guys watch uh, Arc 5, then you know Yugo is a very good character. You know what I mean? But not to nerd out, but anyways, yeah. So I know what you're thinking, like, came on, why are you playing this deck when, when Cash Tier is still a thing? I think Cash Tier is the hardest matchup for this deck next to like Branded, in my opinion. But, right, um, two things. Bandless is going to come this week. I know what it is. I feel it, bro. And they're going to hit cash tier, right? And two, the way I have this, this deck built, it can still fight against cash tier. Like, I have things in here that make a lot of sense and, like, why I play it. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to show you guys the main deck, the extra, and the sides. So, just hear me out before you, you know, judge too much. Oh, also, 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 also. Uh, thank you guys for 140 subscribers. We're already almost at 150, bro. That is crazy. We just hit 100 like the other day, dude. So I appreciate that very much. Also, for the lot for the uh, live duels, I will be adding commentary to it. You guys, you got. I, I asked you a question and you answered. And um, I realized like just posting like the raw footage, it's too easy, anyways. So I rather I rather commentate for y'all. And, you know, explain why I did this play over that play. Plus, I know folks who do want to watch stuff like that, they can't always watch, like, all the time. So, they want to have it in the background and play so you can hear my super sexy small voice. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to comment for y'all. just want to throw that out there. But anyways, let's get into it. Uh, for the main deck, remaining three Torn Scales, three Boots, two Cloak, one Ragged Gloves, and the One Stained Greaves. Now, I'm gonna show you, so for those who are new to this deck, I'm gonna tell you their effects, right? Each Finonite has two effects, so I'm gonna tell you their, their on-field effects first, or I guess their main effect first. So, with this deck, keep in mind, your graveyard is your second hand in this deck, that's just how it works. So, what Stained Greaves does, if a Finonite monster is summoned to your field while he's in your hand, summon him for free, all right? With, uh, Gloves does. Uh, if you exceed with this monster, the monster that comes out gains a thousand attack. All right, that's gloves. What cloak does? You can target a dark monster you control. Change this monster to defense position, and the monster gains eight hundred attack and defense. So that's that's you know that's not that good. Uh, for boots, if you control a Fanonite monster, you can summon this card for free in hand for free. So he's like one of the best ones. And for torn scales, the literal best one. So. Once per turn, you can send one card from your deck, or so, sorry, from your hand to, to the graveyard. Then if you do, send one Fennonite card from your deck to the graveyard besides himself. So he's an on summon Foolish Burial, right? So those are their effects number ones, right? Now the grave effects, which will make them really good. Uh, if a Fennonite card is banished while he's in your graveyard, you can summon him to your field, but we'll banish him when he leaves the field, right? So this is like very uh, in theme with this deck, right? Silent Boots, you can banish it to search for a Fennonite spell or trap card and add it from your deck to your hand. So if one of these gets banished, you can just summon this from the graveyard, right? Uh, Cloak searches a V Fennonite's card from your deck, add it to your hand. So if you have a monster with V in their name, add it to your hand beside yourself. If you have a spell or trap card with V in the name, add it to your hand. But it has to have the Fennonite card. Not Fennonite, but the Fennonite card. Uh, Gloves is a Foolish Burial in the graveyard. And Staying Grieve summons a Fennonite from your hand to the field. And you can make it level level three or level four. So yeah, uh, yeah. Like I said, yeah, these all combo well together, like like bread and butter, bro. So I like this ratio a lot. I think I'd keep this ratio until we get more support, or if we do, I think this ratio is just fine. You know what I mean? Unless you want to max out on it, that's up to you. But I think this is just fine right here. And now for the spice, I don't know what thumbnail I used yet, so maybe it's a surprise. But oh, you probably just saw it right there. Actually, dang it. Um. <laughs> So, little backstory, most PK builds run Tour Guide. So let me just hear me out. Tour Guide is not a bad card whatsoever, right? But I hate when I summon the Tour Guide, right? And they have the Ash or they have the Imperm. And Tour Guide just sits there with no value. So on compensate for Tor to compensate for Tour Guide, I am running the three Predator Plant, Over Scorpio, and the one Darling Cobra. Now, I know what you're thinking, like, why would you run that, bro? Okay, so... My reasoning behind Scorpio is this, right? On summon, you pitch a monster from your great from your hand to graveyard, and that's that's a cost. So therefore, even if they bet, even if they imperm or ash this, right, you still put a monster 
in the graveyard, right? So let's say you open up with Scorpio, Torn Scales, and this in like a random card of hand, right? You go, you go Normal Summon or for Scorpio, Effect, pitch this for cost. So this is in the graveyard now, right? They have Imperm or Ash, right? Okay, cool. Effect of Staying Breeze, Banish, Special this. His effects, but you know what I mean? Like it just, it combos off with this deck super well. So even if they do negate this or stop this, you still pitched for cost, which you need stuff in your graveyard. And then the Darling Cobra, what this does on summon from a Predator Plant monster effect, search for any fusion mon any fusion card from your deck, add it to your hand. And the one we are running is, if you guys have guessed it or not, uh, <laughs> we're running the DPE package, bro. I think this package is still so sick in this deck. If you don't want to run it, don't run it. But me personally, I like it. Because DPE versus Cash Tier uh, versus uh, Rise Heart is still pretty good, bro. So with, with Destiny Fusion, they don't have to hit Graveyard. They, you just activate it. <laughs> and Fuse from deck. That's crazy, right? But yeah, uh, Dasher doesn't come up too often, but uh, Celestial comes up every time. I like to uh, banish it from Graveyard so then I can draw tw uh, two times. So I like those. The last monsters I am running, the two Kagamusha Knight. This can protect your Scorpio, and this is more extenders. The Warrior level three, and the one Graph with the one Seer. You can run Libic if you want to. I think Libic is a fantastic card, but uh, I just cannot find the room for Libic. I don't know. Libic gets one of these guys out of your hand. If you draw one of these, you're gonna have a bad time. So I do recommend playing Libic in this deck if you can play Libic. If you can't play Libic, play, play Libic. If not, then let's just make God be on your side. You know what I mean? <laughs> just because uh, once one of these are in your hand, especially Seer, it's extremely hard to uh, do your full Phantom Knight combo because the full combo is crazy in this deck and it's so easy. It's two card combo, by the way, two card combo. So yeah, just two of those, which I'll show you guys after this video. Forget it, I'll show you guys, I got you. And the last cards I am running are Hand Traps, just three Ash, Ash still good. Plus it's level three, so you can just summon this and exceed link, etc. etc. Three ash. Now for the spell cards. Now don't judge this one too hard. Let me explain why. So I am actually still maining three droplet. Droplet is not a bad card whatsoever. Droplet is a very good card, believe it or not. I know what you're thinking, like, bro, if a rise is on the field, you can't activate this. That's fine, bro. We main deck Fogblade. Fogblade is a searchable Imperial uh infinite impermanence, bro which is permanent, you know what I mean? So like Arise Heart won't really be much of an issue because we can search out Fog Blade. You know what I mean? And it's like, if we can't get the Fog Blade, but you can still make a Break Sword and pop him. You know what I mean? Like you can still do things. So I still think this deck is the best deck of using this card because you can send spells, traps, and monsters and your opponent cannot respond. So the fact that your Graveyard is your second hand, you can go, you can send all of your Phantom Knights all of them from your hand to graveyard or field to graveyard and then negate stuff that is so broken bro that's so broken so yeah three droplet that's why i still run this card plus to be fair i think we're gonna get the banners this week maybe i'm pretty sure they're gonna hit castier in some way so we're not gonna be seeing the well they'll still be relevant but we won't be like oh rise heart you know what i mean so like he won't be here for long, bro. Like, I, I I, generally feel it. And if they do not hit him, they'll do something with it with the deck. So, but yeah, uh, three, Fusion Destiny. Like I said, this card is cracked. It's nuts. So why not play it? Just activate this. If they ash this, cool. Do your combo. And it's so funny because um, when they see I'm playing Fanonites and they tech, tech in a D barrier, I hit them with the Fusion Destiny. And they're like, like, whoa, you know what I mean? So, like, you can call X Seed. I'll fuse. You can call fusion, I'll exceed. Or if you call exceed, I'll link. You know what I mean? You can still do like this deck is very versatile. It's like it's like DDD in a way, actually. And now to compliment those, I am actually maining two thrust and I'm maining two tactic. Uh thrust is to search out this or your other normal spells and traps. And tactic is just so strong, bro. Every branded player is actually running Dragoon. So you make him waste their negate and then you just thrust and then you you take it <laughs> you take it and then you link off with it right after you're like all right, i don't want you no more but yeah i think uh thrust is really really good in here it's not mandatory if you don't have the thrust don't play the thrust you can play other stuff too if you want to like you could play 
Libic and like a call by the grave. But for me personally, since I have the card, I'm going to utilize the card. You know what I mean? So if you do get the card, which you'll get a reaper pretty soon, play it if you want to. If you don't have the card, don't trip. Don't think because you see this profile and you don't have a certain card I have, I can't play the deck. You can still play the deck, bro. Just don't play this card. There are substitutes that you can play instead of just thrust and tactics. You know what I mean? I'm just playing it because I like those cards and I have those cards, you know? And the last card is uh, Rhoda and the one rank up magic launch, bro. That's right. We don't play, we don't, we don't play Kali Yuga, but we do play, but we do play. We do play Ophion, bro. That's right. The Cash Tira Killer. And summoning Ophion is so easy, bro. It's so easy. Break Sword, you summon that back from the graveyard. Activate this. You summon you summon freaking uh, Ophion. It's a wrap. They lose. They lose. They can't. Brandon can't summon anything. And freaking <laughs> um, Brandon can't summon anything. And Cash Tear can summon anything. They, 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 they can't do anything with Ophion on Field. So, or field, so why not run it? This is searchable. You know what I mean? You can get it anytime with either... You can get it with Boots or you can get it with uh, Rusty. You know what I mean? This You'll always have this. And you'll always have a Break Sword too. So it's like, just run it. Just run it. The Trap card is very self-explanatory. Three Fog Blade because it's searchable. Uh, Phoenix Chain. I'm playing the One Wings. And I'm actually playing the One Sword. That's right. I still like... I like playing these because I like grinding a lot with, with, with this deck. Most people play Shade Burgundy. I don't like Shade Burgundy like that, if I'm being honest. Like, I, it's good, but I'm, me personally, I'm just like, eh. I like this because my board usually ends on Appaloosa. So this gives me another 800 attack on Appaloosa so she can get another negate. Also, in my opinion, it's good to max out or have more Fennel Knight spell and traps in your, in your graveyard because you can banish these, right? And bring back a Fennel Knight monster from your graveyard. So it's like... I was grinding against Despia. I used all three of these and this. I just had this left, and this won me the freaking game because I could bring back Rusty to, like, you know, pop and stuff. So the main deck is done. The main deck is 40 cards even. Hopefully those choices make sense to you guys. And, uh, yeah, let's go to the extra deck. Extra deck is very spicy, by the way. It's super cool. Uh, we playing the one Cherubini. You only need one. This effect is a cost, by the way. So you summon this. Activate effect and they try to go Ash or Imperm. You go, all right, that's wasting it. This effect is a cost to, to send from deck to graveyard. <laughs> so you won't get the uh, boost effect, but you'll still foolish burial. So this is this is this is the combo starter. All right. So one Cherubini, two Rusty. Uh, I got a comment on one of my videos saying he's back at three. I looked it up. I'm like, oh, he is back at three. So I'm playing him at two. I think Rusty is good. Although I got I, I, I got used to playing him at just one, in my opinion. So, but if you want to play him at two, you can. I'm talking about two, so I like it. Two of those, and the one Apo. That's it for my links. Uh, these are just combos. The full board for this is crazy, bro. Uh, for X seeds, we're playing the one Utopic Future, and the one Draco Future. For for the non levels, these are sick. You summon him every time, <laughs> every time, bro. Just every time. If not him, Apo. I think he's way better because he can't die by a battle of the card effects. Uh, I am running the two Levian Air and the two Break Sword for the for the rank threes and the one Ashura King. Uh, Levian Air, you bring back your stuff. This is for full combo. You bring back your Banish so you get them back again. And it's not, it's not a number monster. Break Sword is Break Sword. Uh, I think two is just fine. You don't need three. I think two is plenty. This is the Scrap Dragon. So, so then pop, pop. Ashura King, bro. You summon this boy, he helps you into your Zeus package. You know what I mean? Your Zeus package. So you summon him for every X seed under him. He can attack. And every time he attacks, he gains 200. And once per turn, he can negate monster effects. This card is broken, bro. Play him. Play him. Free him. But yeah, so Ashura King downered uh, the Ophion, obviously. Oh, Ophion and the one Zeus. These are the only other rank fours and above that I do play. Um, if you use Break Sword's effect, you'll be locked into dark, so keep that in mind. Like, if you use the effect to bring itself back, you'll be locked into darks. But other than that, I do summon uh, Zeus pretty often in this deck. I think, it's, I think it's really good, honestly. I think it's actually really good. Like, 
And Ophion is just for Castier. If they kill Castier, we can take out Ophion. But yeah. The last card y'all running is obviously the one DPE, bro. Play the card is good. Just just play it, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. For the extra, for the side deck. Side deck is pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, three Lancia because um, not just Castier, but your big board that you make, which I will show you guys at the end of this video, so keep watching, please. The big board you make in this in this build, it only loses to like three cards, which is Droplet. No one's playing that. Dark Ruler. No one's really playing that. And Evenly, right? So not only does this hurt Castier and Branded, this stops Evenly, bro. You're good to go with this. You so I think Lancia is super good in this in this deck. Uh, I am actually citing the three Ghost Bell because I am so tired of Branded. <laughs> I'm tired of you Branded people, bro. But yeah, this is really good against Branded. This is really good against uh, Math Max. You know what I mean? Like, they use their, their track record. You go, nope. And this is really good against, like, a lot of decks still. It, it fell out because of um, Tier Element, but I, it's not a bad card whatsoever. I still think this card is really good. So, three Ghost Spell, if you do like that. If not, just run Ogre. Or, not Ogre. Um, Droll. Uh, for back row, three Twin Twister. Uh, the cards don't have the graveyard, so you can pitch your Phantom Lights in your hand to Grave, and then just, just destroy back row. So, I think... This is bad, definitely better over Lightning Storm, in my opinion, because you pitch for cost. So you just, you know. Like I said, your Graver is your second hand, so it's like, why not utilize that? So three Twin Twister. Three Book of Eclipse, because a Rise Heart is very annoying. So you just book him, and then you pop him really, really good. Or you book the Shangri-La on, on draw phase. You know what I mean? Like, I just think it's... It, I think this card's really good in here. You could main it if you want to, but it loses to Ash. And uh, we are... Citing the three anti spell because this card is sick. Now I'm gonna show you guys the two card combo, bro. The two card combo. All right, two card combo, and this is like a full on combo, right? Let's say you have Scorpio and a monster in hand. We're just gonna say we have Torn Scales. It doesn't matter what monster besides. You don't want to draw any of the Burning Abyss, and you don't want to draw your your, your uh, Cobra, right? So you normal summon Scorpio. Scorpio effect. You pitch the monster from your hand for cost. Right? To summon your your Cobra. Cobra effect triggers. To search out if you're using Destiny, right? Now you link away these two to Grave. Mind you, this is your hand. Right? To summon your Cherubini, right? Cherubini effect. It sends for cost, right? So you'll send the graph and you'll gain the effect. Graph effect will go off. And you will summon your seer, right? Summon it here, obviously. Now you can link away these two into your rusty, right? Your seer effect will go off. You can bring back your chair beating if you want to. Cause you you can link it away for later for Appalooza if you want to. Depending on your hand, but this two card combo. So so now you have uh, this in the graveyard, right? You want to go rusty effect, right? You want to send. Your cloak from your hand, or from your deck to grave, right? Your cloak. And then you want to, you can uh, set any other Phantom Knight stuff, but I'm going to set the Fog Blade just because it's the easiest. So now you go Cloak Effect. You banish the cloak, right? So you can add um, the Stained Greaves from your deck to hand, right? And that's when you trigger your Torn Scales, right? Torn skill effect summons itself. Stain Greaves effect summons itself also, right? Because it's got summoned. So now you have these two, right? So now you can overlay into, well, actually, no. So usually in a real scenario, right? You would have an, another card in hand, right? Let's just say we have this. You can use his effect, right? You push the card from your hand to grave to Foolish Burial uh, your Ragged Gloves, right? Two card combo, yes, but you still you still would want a card to pitch in hand. You don't want to pitch the Destiny Fusion. You could if you wanted to, you know, but I wouldn't, right? So you want to you want to build up your graveyard, right? So now that that's in the graveyard, you want to overlay these two, and you can make your Levian Air, right? Levian Air effect. You want to put this to grave to summon your uh, summon your Ancient Cloak Cloak effect. Power up your Rusty, right? And now you want to banish your Ragged Gloves, right? 
to send um you want to send wings from your deck to grave wings and or fog but it doesn't matter right to use wings effect here banish that to summon out your staying greaves if you want to doesn't matter overlay these two to make another levy and air right levy and air effect some in the back our boy here right now here if you know where your opponent's playing you can make an appalooza if you wanted to or if you don't You can summon Draco Future and then overlay it to that guy, right? And now you still have the Destiny Fusion, or Fusion Destiny, sorry. Activate that. Sending these two to Grave, right? To summon your DPE, right? So you have a Fog Blade here. So usually you would uh, also want to search out... Um, your cloak, not your cloak, your freaking boots. But see, your field is rusty with this and this. You can use this effect. Uh, target, target to pop. You know what I mean? Pop those two. And now you have this with the fog blade. So now you have three interruptions, right? And that was just a two card combo. So imagine when you had five. So, but yeah, okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Uh, thank you guys for all the love, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys go sub to my main channel if you can. Pretty please. We are so close to 2K subs. So if you like horror games and good edits, I'm your guy, bro. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.